Good morning, guys. This is Faithful with Elegant Celeste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to do another DIY. Yes, so this is the series of Dollar Tree DIY chargers. So today's charger is going to be a Thanksgiving charger. And basically, I got a napkin from uh, Joanne's Fabric. And I cut out the pattern that I like, that I want it to be in the center. This project is pretty much um, a personalized one. So you could choose whatever napkin you want, or you can also use tissue paper, which I love to use as well. And I'm going to go with the burgundy charger. Now, the thing with the Dollar Tree charger, they're pretty thin but they come in gold, silver, white, and burgundy. So I'm going to go with burgundy because I think the colors go really well together. I like that color scheme. And so what you will need for this project is a napkin of your choice or tissue paper. You'll need a Dollar Tree charger. You would need Mod Podge, which you can get the small one from the Dollar Tree, but because I use so much of it, I just go ahead and get mine from Michaels and use a coupon, 50% or 40%. You'll need the scissors to be able to cut out your um, tissue paper or your napkin. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found these. These are uh, borders or you can call them, um, well, pretty much borders and you can use them on pillows, you can use them on dresses, you can use them for whatever you want. I'm sure there's another name for it, I can't think of it at, right at, at this moment. <laughs> it's early, guys. Um, so, I chose this and I'm going to use that. I also found these that I thought was really cool and I wanted to get it because most time when I want to do a project, um, I use uh, the Dollar Tree tack, but I thought these were really cool. So I decided to go with that. So these are my two things that I hauled from Hobby Lobby. So you'll need a border or a trim. That's a good word right there too. <laughs> a trim. And um, for your charger, you'll also need, because I'm going to slip in there, a napkin ring holder so you will definitely need your glue gun and your glue stick i like to have a cup of water and a paintbrush now i do use a regular paintbrush the paintbrush but you could choose a sponge if you prefer so i'm going to go ahead pour a bit of the glue the mod podge don't need a lot this project is not going to be extremely large. Make sure your charger is clean and then you're going to paint on your montage. And you just estimate as far as where you're going to put your project. The glue does dry clear so it's not a big deal if your estimation is off a bit. No big deal. Once you lay your glue down, you're going to go ahead and lay your tissue or your napkin down. Then you're going to start to smooth out. Your napkin. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I'm allowing it to dry a bit, so we're going to get ready to start with laying down the trim. And I think I want to start here. This hand is still not very strong. Okay, 
lay your glue down. Lay your trim close to the edge as possible. Press down and then you're going to go all the way around. Guys, if you want to make this permanent, go ahead and use your E6000. Or your Gorilla Glue. I like both. And so you're going to take it just like that all the way around. I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I am going to add my beads to this. So you lay your glue down. And what I'm going to do, this is where I have joined the, the part that I cut. So I'm going to pass that area just a bit with the glue. Add my little stone here and go all the way around. That way, it's hidden. It covers it. Generous amount of glue. And go slowly. Just like that. I'm going to take that around and I'll be right back. So guys, I decided to go ahead and add another row just to finish off the trim. And I love the way that it looks, except for the center. I think that I probably would have wanted something white onto the center because it did come out very dark. But other than that, I think the trimming on this is really nice. Okay guys, so now I'm ready to start on my napkin ring, lay your glue down, take your trim, go as far to the end as possible, just like that, take it all the way around, I must tell you I love, love the Dollar Tree napkin ring. You can do so much with them. Just like that. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I like it. Okay, so now we're going to do the same as we did with the charger, where I joint both places. I'm going to pass it a bit, add your glue, lay your, if you're using diamond wrap or whatever trim you want to use, it's up to you. This is we did with the charger. Take it around. Just like that. How cute is that? I love that. I'm going to place it on the table and let you get a look at what it looks like all together. Guys, this is how the charger turned out. Love the napkin ring. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. 
would you recreate this for your home? It's quick, easy, and beautiful. Truly love the way that this turned out. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time, your support. Don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, become a part of our family. And please leave me a comment. Let me know if you do like this DIY. Okay, I will see you on my next video.